Hello everyone and welcome back to our life beginnings and always we are jumping right back into the middle of this introduction to act three because I stopped halfway through last time real sorry about that but we're settling back into it um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to settle in into the new character design for Cove but you know we'll see maybe I'll get used to it uh, <laughs> But all the other characters are so cute now, seeing them all growing up, oh my god, it's... Ah, uh, wow, it's a lot. Anyway. The next morning, your belly was full of breakfast, and you were in a pleasant mood. You hoped the rest of the day followed suit. Later, you were meeting up with your friends, Cove, Miranda, and Terry, to go into town. We don't know Miranda and Terry yet, do we? It was all on short notice, but that was because everyone was just so excited that Cove was finally back home. Having a nice daydream? You blinked, pushing all your thoughts away and returning to reality. Your mom was watching you with a teasing smile. So, what's on the agenda today? I'm meeting up with some people. Well, I hope you and your friends have fun. Don't get into too much trouble. She winked at you. You knew both your moms wanted you to enjoy every bit of this summer before all the big changes started. I'll try. But before you go gallivanting around town, could you bring the mail in? I'm finishing up putting the dishes away over here. Alright. Thanks very much. Oh my god! I was not expecting that! Okay. Okay. Cliff? Would I look? Uh. He does not look. Well, he kind of looks older, but like he still has a bit of a baby face, which he didn't seem to have before. But now that I know he's older, he seems. To... Anyway, I like the shirt though, dude. As soon as you were outside your front door, you couldn't help but see Cove and his dad standing around in the road. They noticed you too. Hey there, Patch. Cove smiled lightly and waved. When you began making your way over, he added. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, we'll give him a hug, sure. Melting into his arms, Cove held you tightly until you were ready to let go. His eyes shone brightly with so much adoration that you feared your heart might stop. Even after all this time, being with him hadn't got any less thrilling. You noticed Mr. Holden was taking in the scene of you and Cove with a self-satisfied smile. Oh. Co followed your line of sight and shot his dad an unimpressed look. <laughs> For a moment, Mr. Holden seemed like he had a thought dancing on the tip of his tongue, but he decided to keep it to himself. Good. We don't need any mockery here, thank you. So, what are you up to today? Uh, me and Cove are meeting some friends later. We're gonna paint the town red. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> We're gonna kill everyone. <laughs> Exciting! They won't know what hit him. Is paint the town red not about a murder? It sounds like a murder term, right? Is it just a party thing? I'm not a party person if you hadn't guessed by now. Cove shook his head disapprovingly, but you knew him well enough to tell that he was entertained by your notion. Yawning, Mr. Holden stretched his arms over his head. My boy and I have just been waiting around to see what new neighbours are like. Oh, we, we've got new neighbours? It was definitely his idea. I don't know how you're not interested in this. It's big news. Besides, it'd only be polite to greet the new folks in town. Sure, you used to be that person. Maybe it'll be a single dad and his son. Yeah, you never know. You've been here too long to s long if seeing a new person rent a condo is what you consider an exciting development. Yes, I'm dying to see the newcomers. Your response is just a shrug. I don't want to meet them. Well, anyone has to be better than the last tenants. Yeah, they sucked. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see who they are. <laughs> Patch gets it. Cove is not impressed. Cove raised an eyebrow. Really? You two? Yeah, it could be anyone. The beach attracts all kinds of people. Cove thought about your words for a few seconds and then nodded understandingly. I guess. Mr. Holden took one more glance at the currently vacant building and sighed dramatically. When he turned back to you and Cove, his whole body seemed deflated. There's no sign of them. I still need to head over to work soon. Cove gave his dad a few reassuring pats on the back. Okay, I promise to keep an eye out. 
I can text you if anything happens. Really? <laughs> Why are you so shocked? Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, I'm o only until I have to meet up with Terry and Miranda. Would that still work? With a wide grin breaking out on his face, Mr. Holden looked absolutely thrilled to have his nosiness enabled. That works. He moved to firmly place both hands over Co Cove's shoulders, fixing his child with a firm stare. Son, you are my true ally in this world. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, Cove, look at his face. Mr. Holden stood up straighter, letting Cove go. He looked reinvigorated. Okay, with that settled, I'll go make some money. That's always been the one thing I do best. What does he do again? I don't remember. Anyway, Mr. Holden headed off to the garage with a big wave. With a big wave goodbye, Cove smiled the whole time you both watched his dad leave. I think uh, you really liked Mr. Holden. Mr. Holden was one of your favorite people. Cove's dad was kind of a bother. You had mixed feelings. I think he's cool. I like him. You had for a long time. As soon as he was out of sight, Cove sighed lightly. Are you okay? Yeah, just not looking forward to waiting. Guess I'll be hanging around the street a while. <laughs> well, I guess see you later. I'll have to go around to see the new neighbors. I can wait with you. Why don't I stay to see the new neighbor and keep you company? I can wait with you. You wouldn't abandon Cove there to wither on the road or out of boredom. Of course. Really? Yeah, of course. I like keeping you company, remember? He stared at you a moment, smiling softly and thinking about his response. I like that too. <laughs> Dummy? Obviously. Cove put his hands on your shoulders. His thumbs absent uh, his thumbs absent mindedly moved in a soothing circle. The look in his eyes was much firmer. He was serious. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Patch, you're my true ally in this world. Oh, that got a fair amount of chuckles from you. He grinned, the stoicism fading into amusement. <laughs> I knew you'd stay for me. Oh, you're lucky to have me. It's no problem. I can't help myself. You laughed, you shook your head, you should be shrugged. I can't help myself. Yeah, well, good then. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> the smile on his face reached his eyes, and it made you feel electric. And then, he let go of you. Cove stepped over to his front porch steps, lazily taking a seat and leaning back on his arms. Our watch begins. Nodding in agreement, you joined Cove on the front porch steps. You both sat there in comfortable fam familiarity as you settled in for the waiting game on the new tenants. The neighborhood was quiet and you sighed contentedly, closing your eyes and feeling the light breeze. Eventually, you both perked up at the sound of a car. A taxi followed the noise, turning onto your street. Gosh. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be... Is it gonna be a callback? Is it just gonna be someone completely new? Who knows? Cove's eyebrows raised at the sight and he sat up straight on the stoop. This it has to be them, right? The only people who come out here, live here, it has to be. You leaned forward, sitting on the edge of the front step. You couldn't wait to finally put an end to the suspense and get a look at the new neighbor. The taxi pulled to a stop as you expected in front of the now empty condo. It was the same side of the street as your house, a few buildings further up. Without getting to his feet, Cove tried leaning and tilting his head to get a view of the, passions of the passenger door as it opened. The single occupant exited the cab. <gasps> Huh? You could feel what Cove was in that moment. After the last renters, this new visitor was definitely not what you'd expected. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Very Una's honest of you here, bud. You're kind of rocking my look a little bit with the black and white hair. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. It was a young man. Had to be close to your own age. He was fully dressed in an eclectic black and white and grey outfit. His, uh, even his side-sweeping hair seemed, matched the scene. Matched the scheme. Blech, geez, please. The only other pop of colour was from something that couldn't easily be fashioned to, into submission. A pair of dark brown eyes, which you caught when he looked over at his audience. 
Oh my god, I need to pick a voice. Oh, he's obviously gonna be cool, isn't he? Um, hello folks, who might you be? W were the neighbors? The smile already prominent on his face curled further. It was cocky, but you didn't get the impression it meant something adverse. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait, what? Okay, cool. You and Cove shared a familiar look with one another, bewildered even further. The colour-coordinated man left it there, however, and with a firm click he shut the door of his ride. Then he turned his back to you to retrieve a large, unsurprisingly black suitcase out of the trunk. <laughs> kind of got Dan Howe vibes. Uh, continuing on with his own business, he strolled forward, lightly tapped on the driver's side window with his knuckles, asking for them to roll it down. When it opened, he leaned down and rested an arm on the edge. You assumed he was thanking the driver for getting him there, considering he slipped them a tip during the brief chat. They shook hands, and then he brushed himself up and away from the taxi with both arms, giving the driver room to leave. The taxi pulled away, rolling carefully down the road and out of sight around a corner. The new renter had officially arrived. He left his suitcase on the ground, out of the way of the street, and sauntered over your way with the confidence of someone who had been invited to join. I mean, we're kind of staring at him, so fair enough. Co finally stood up to greet this person. You followed suit. Baxter? Cool name, dude. I'm Baxter Ward. It's excellent to meet you, mate. Oh, I'm stu- I'm nervous about the vibes here. I'm Baxter Ward. It's excellent to meet you, neighbors. He feels like he would talk about NFTs. Um, <laughs> you were standing on the side he was approaching from. When Baxter got close enough, he offered his hand to you first. You offered him a low five. I'll shake, I'll shake his hand. Baxter gripped your hand firmly to give a satisfying shake. Welcome to Sunset Bird, Baxter. I'm Patch. Hey, Patch. I'm quite keen on getting to know you this summer. We could be good friends. Yeah, very forward, bud, but thank you. <laughs> From the other side, Cove made a sudden sputtering noise. Cove, you're fine, bud. Look at, look at this, look at this dummy. You're, 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 it's, you're good. Don't worry. <laughs> Is Cove going to get all jealous? That'll be so funny. And you are? <laughs> I can't take this guy's thing. Oh no. He lifted his hand out to Cove next. Cove instead crossed his arms to express his rejection of that idea, still eyeing Baxter carefully. I'm Cove. Baxter's whole demeanor lit up for unknown reasons. His eyes shone as he st- Oh no, should I be jealous? Uh oh. Oh, it's the name. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> now wait. Is that a nickname or your real name? It's just my name. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Co spoke mildly, having given that explanation many times in the past, but it clearly charmed Baxter all the same. He tossed his head to one side with a laugh. Oh no. <laughs> your parents knew exactly what they were doing. I can't imagine a more fitting name for the face I'm seeing. Co, that's gorgeous. Wow, Baxter. Coming on strong, bud. It's... it's really not... No, it's not... Uh, it's... Hey, hey, bud. Hey, you're lovely, okay? Hey, only I get to fluster him. <laughs> That's a lot considering you're talking to a stranger, Baxter. You didn't know to say he's taken. Um, no, I agree it suits you. That's okay. Hey, look, we, I am comfortable and confident in this relationship. A little bit of flirting from a stranger isn't going to throw us off. So I can just roll with it. No, I agree it suits you. Oh, I see. The, the tri, the, the, the bicolor, um, the bicolor motif indicates that he's bi. There we go. It all, it all makes sense. Oh, mind you, you've got a few black rings on there. Maybe your ace. I don't see any middle finger black rings though, and I think that's that's the main indicator. So, oh, and these torn jeans too. <laughs> Bit of a thotty we've got going on here, folks. Okay, Baxter, you slowly stepping up the rungs, a favorite character, bud, but also very close to falling right back down to the bottom. You're really on the edge here. <laughs> nice to see someone else knows. The impact might have faded for you, living with, this, living with it this long, but I promise to the onlooker, it's a knockout. 
Damn, Baxter. Damn, damn. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, can we do it? Could... Is there poly option options in this game? Are there poly options? Just, just, just curious. I'm not saying I'm gonna go. I'm just, I'm just. Hey, I'm asking, just asking for a friend. <laughs> Cove couldn't face either of you after that. His cheeks were quickly turning bright red with embarrassment. Oh, what a cutie. You noticed that Baxter looked apologetic after Cove's increased discomfort. Uh, I'm sorry. That wasn't intended to mean more than it did. I like your name, but you don't have to mind that. I'm patently against stepping on anyone's toes. Cool, cool, cool. He chuckled to himself. It seemed like there was some extra meaning hidden there in his words, and you noticed that Cove raised an eyebrow, picking up on that too. Wait, what What did he say? Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't... I, it wasn't intended to mean more than it did. I like your name, but you don't have to mind that. Okay. So he was being flirty, but maybe he's picked up on the relationship? Baxter didn't even open his eyes to see your faces to know he had some feeling to do. Uh, he stood up straighter, striking a slight pose with the position of his feet. Oh, that's fun. Damn, okay, okay, Baxter, coming in with the ballroom dancing. Okay, bud. I'm a ballroom dancer, hence the phrasing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, so I'm like filling in as in like we were confused about what he was saying. Oh, so you're making some kind of pun about stepping on anyone's toe. Okay, I... Look, I'm... <laughs> Things go over my head, like, tremendously. So thank you for, like, explaining it to me, because I did not understand what was going on at all. I'm so glad there's a look. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know much about dancing, but that's pretty cool. It's not hard once you get the basics down. Cove didn't look convinced at all. Baxter took that as a cue to keep talking. Well, he grinned in a way that was rapidly becoming familiar to you. If either of you are looking for a partner, I'm available. Yeah, I bet you are, bud. I bet you are. I bet you are. <laughs> oh, look at Look at your face. Oh, okay, no, this design for Cove is now really growing on me. I think I'm settling into it. I think it's like kind of jarring at first when you like spend so much time with one to then move to another. But now, now it's like we're getting back into the rhythm of it, you know? Cove peeked at you, smiling softly. You felt his familiar touch as he squeezed your hand for a moment. <laughs> oh, Cove, you slay me. Oh, beautiful. I already have a partner. Patch is the only one I want to dance with. Sorry. And my significant other. Gender neutral too. Oh, beautiful. Oh, sorry, Baxter. Oh no, he's like, dang, I missed two shots at once. <laughs> two birds flew off, and you just dropped the stone right in the ground. I'm sorry, bud. You're both together. Uh, yeah, we are. No, that's crushing. But it makes sense. I got here too late. Should have taken a semester off sooner. Yeah, sorry, bud. That's a joke. Really, I don't mean to intrude on anything you have have with the offer. I mean, he's just asking to dance, isn't he? Because I think it's, it's still okay to, like, hang out with other people. Dancing doesn't mean anything if you don't want it to mean anything. I think I might just kind of leave it open wait i'm gonna save just because i don't know i feel like i'm not quite understanding exactly baxter nodded understandingly and let the subject go there we go that's nice cool i like how forgiving this game is <laughs> after that there was a lull in conversation and cove attempted to fill it um what made you decide on sunset bird Oh, yeah, well, my parents rented a condo, so I had a place to stay while I'm off for a semester from college and not living in the dorms. Taking a while to settle into a voice for this guy. There was a playful glint in Baxter's eyes, he continued. 
Ideally, they wanted to send me somewhere that wasn't too exciting, but lucky for me, they picked the wrong street, considering the two of you live here. <laughs> Baxter then preemptively lifted his hands up in front of his chest, giving the gesture for, for meaning no harm. Okay, well that's nice. It's nice to not be the only one my age around the neighborhood for an entire summer. Nothing more. <laughs> fair, hey, that's fair enough. Hey, you still got, you still got to hang out with people. That was a story he'd heard before. The same one was uh, as when Lonely Cove and his dad moved in all those years ago. Cove wasn't relating. St Cove wasn't relating still. You could have phrased it like that in the first place. <laughs> Cove is so blunt. I don't feel the need to keep words of praise to myself, but they're not romantic come-ons. I see that you two are very much a committed pair. I'd like to be friends if we can, but that's all. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Thanks, Baxter. That's nice. It's... It's okay. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that with me. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't bother me. I'm finding it pretty... I'm finding it pretty entertaining. You probably annoy a lot of people you stood there and her. Wait, what? I don't feel the need to keep my words of praise to myself, but they're not romantic come ones. I see. Okay, so... Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Glad we're working things out. Shifting his weight to his other foot, Baxter tried to move forward. So, uh, which condo is yours? How long have you- Oh, there we go, yep. So, uh, which condo is yours? How long have you been living together? Oh, uh, n no. Cove spotted again and unintentionally a laugh escaped you. We're, um, we're both your neighbours, but we live in different houses with our parents. <laughs> As if second nature, the both of you pointed to your homes, the buildings directly across the street from each other. Baxter's eyebrows raised at that. Yeah, isn't it cute? It's cute, Baxter. It's cute. It's cute, okay? <laughs> your neighbors who started dating? Aw, what a couple of lovebirds. You're on the backbone of romantic society. Yeah, it's cute. Honestly, I hope you never break up. If you can make it work, there might be a chance for the rest of us. Oh, that's sweet. Also, kind of pressure, but okay. <laughs> oh, You knew Cove well enough to tell there was a little bit of amusement in his expression, but he sighed in exasperation. After that, you had no doubts about his claims of being complimentary. You were really, to, really starting to get a kick out of it. Well, if either of you were free, I'd be thrilled I'd be thrilled to hang out this summer, but we can save the schedule talk for later. I should get my things inside. He gave a small nod to the head and uh, he gave a small nod of the head and flashed you both a dazzling smile. <laughs> goodbye for today. Cove simply waved goodbye. Bye. You know what? He's not too bad. I think I think he'll be I think he'll be okay. <laughs> I was I was really nervous if I was like, oh my god, are they gonna are gonna are they gonna are gonna are they gonna give us a third are they gonna like try and turn this into a love triangle? Cause that kind of situation makes me anxious unless there is the opportunity for a poly relationship because then it's just it's just fun uh to be able to expand the relationship in that way. But it's nice that we've just settled into that friendship and not just having tension for the rest of the act because that can be that can be really stressful <laughs> the, uh, love triangles stress me out <laughs> Baxter then turned on his heels and strolled back to his suitcase picking it up and bringing it uh, to his condo you and Cove were silent as Baxter unlocked the door and disappeared into his house. Okay, Cove, what do you think? Yep, with his complete, with him completely out of the scene, Cove let let out a long breath. I don't know how I'm gonna explain that guy to my dad. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. No one above like 25 is gonna understand that guy. <laughs> you burst into a fit of laughter trying to imagine the conversation. At least the job is done. <laughs> we saw the neighbor, and now we can go meet up with Terry and Miranda. Yeah, we should get going. You gave Baxter's condo one la last glance over your shoulder. 
You're looking forward to seeing more of him. You thought he was charming. You were not interested in him. You weren't sure how to feel. You thought he gave a pretty bad first- Oh yeah, yeah, kinda. You decided he definitely wasn't someone you like. Um... Yeah, we can see more of him. I think that's cool. Baxter was different, but you liked him. Smiling youth. Uh, hoped that he would become a good friend this summer. Turning your attention back to Cove, you pushed all your thoughts of Baxter aside. You both started making your way towards town. <gasps> I take his hand. You slid your palm into his and Cove laced his fingers with yours. His expression instantly became happier and he lightly squeezed your hand. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, <clears throat> have we seen this section of town before? A little while later, you and Cove reached a main street in town. All of a sudden, you stopped walking. What's wrong? I think I heard my phone. You dug your cell phone out and looked at it with a satisfied grin. There was a new message. Me message. Before you could read it, you were distracted by a small amused noise from Cove. His head was slightly tilted to the side as he carefully looked at your old keychain. Oh my god, I forgot. I can't believe you still have that. I do I love it you shouldn't be surprised well someone was crazy enough to get it for me so I may as well use it you shrugged you quietly blushed him putting it out of course I do I love it you meant it you the intensity of your words had coped blushing and looking away from you for a moment you were both at a loss for more words you were sucked into remembering that day he bought it for you cope was the one who spoke up again I'm <laughs> I'm actually glad you like it he looks from the keychain to you. His smile reached his eyes. It makes me happy seeing you care about it and everything. <laughs> it makes me happy that you're happy. Smiling, you refocused on the task at hand. You opened the new text from Miranda and all you saw was, <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> oh no, I hate messages like that. That's <laughs> immediately, immediately from where you stood, you started swiveling your head around. You couldn't spot Miranda anywhere, but she did send you more messages. <laughs> I saw you holding Cove's hand. Scandalous. Where are you? Ah, oh, come on. Really, Randy? We call her, we call her Randy. That's so cool. Oh, oh no! I get to pick. <laughs> Come on. The message was sent and you were back to looking around, scanning for any sign of movement and familiar faces, but they were still invisible. Cove looked at you carefully, raising an eyebrow. <laughs> Would you shout? Um. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, we don't want to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, I'll send a text back. If you want to keep hiding... If you want to keep hiding, Cope and I can just go go do our own stuff without you, is what you decided on. You smirked, hitting send on that message. Cove looked at you, curious, raising an eyebrow. Oh, uh, what's happening? Before you could even begin explaining anything to Cove, you both snapped your attention to the yelling across the street. And there you saw Miranda and Terry uh, coming out from behind the backside of the grocery store. They both started w waving wildly to draw even more attention to themselves. Cove took a step in their direction. He grinned and waited for them to get closer. Laughing and arm in arm, the girls stopped only to look both ways and then rushed across the empty street. <gasps> oh my god, she's so cute! I love her hair! She's all prickly! Oh my god, she's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute too! Oh my gosh. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. Oh, this is great. Wow. This is great. <laughs> wow. wow. Neat. Sorry. What did I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see what Miranda said. I just, I just got so excited. Hi. I hope you weren't waiting too long. And then Terry can be. Hey, buddies. Hi. That joke was not funny. I'm. Hey, I'm so happy to see you two. Now that they were here, their joke on you was already long forgotten in your mind. Terry and Miranda giggled, smiling wide at your declaration. Terry then closed the difference between her and Cove and crushed him in a painfully tight hug. 
You're finally here. It's been so long. What took you? He did his best to eke out a reply with his chest being compressed. Sorry. <laughs> Eventually she let him go. Terry looked at him with a beaming smile, but Cope was distracted, rubbing his arms. Standing there, Miranda shifted her weight uh, to her other hip. She watched and Cove patient. Uh, she watched Cove patiently with a bashful smile. Welcome back. Thanks. It felt. It finally felt official. Everyone was together in one place. From here, you weren't sure how often you would have another afternoon like this again. They didn't either. Cove. Terry poked Cove square in the chest. You're gonna have to get me your schedule by this time yesterday. Not really possible, Terry, but I can say as soon as I know. So far, work hasn't said anything, but I can tell you I'm busy with Orca activities. When Cove wasn't at his part-time job or pursuing his athletic and academic interests, he volunteered for the Ocean Restoration California Affiliation, Orca. Aww. The group focused on cleaning up beaches and removing pollution from the ocean. Cove always loved the sea. It didn't surprise you one bit when he started getting involved with them. Oh, oh I think I'd probably join it uh, with him afterwards, yeah. Their big smash event for the year is coming up, right? Isn't it? Yeah, there's not that much more to do before then, but I'm kind of looking forward to fun the fundraising push. Hopefully we can pull it off. If anyone could do it, it's you two. And even if it goes really bad, it's still, uh, it'll still look good on a college application, at least. Um, that's true. Hey, guess what else? We don't have to stand here to say stuff. Let's go, I would like a meal now. Perking up, Cove nodded in agreement. Yeah, I'm hungry. Time to head out. The four of you headed into town, happily chatting the whole way. The only decision left to make was where exactly to stop and eat. The rest of the afternoon and evening passed by in the blink of an eye. When night fell, it was time to head home and you parted ways with Miranda and Terry. Oh, wow. Home already. You and Cove reached your neighbourhood without a vent. It was late enough that your out-of-the-way street was dark and silent. You were walking tidily after such a long day. You strolled with a skip in your step. You ambled along. Co was giving you a piggyback ride home. Um, I, I, th I think I'm still probably got a bit of energy. We've had a big day, but I'm usually um, reasonably energized in the evening. Days like today, filled with good food and good company, left you feeling energized. As you walked alongside Cove, you peered at his face out of the corner of your eyes. Mind you, maybe not so much after so much socializing, I'd probably very, be very tired. You wondered why he felt so distant to you. Oh, it was out of character. Is he nervous about like, moving away and stuff? For a while, Cove silently stared ahead and he left you alone with your own thoughts. It surprised you when you did hear his voice all of a sudden. He still wouldn't look at you. It feels weird coming back to the neighborhood and trying to get into things like they're the same. And they're not. They've changed. They're still changing. Your mouth felt uncomfortably dry all of a sudden. It was true. The things that kept the people you knew together were starting to disappear. Each person had to make their own priorities and their own path now that it wasn't set for them. You thought about your own immediate future. You'd been considering more and more and ideas were starting to settle in your mind. You hoped to go to school full time, to go to school part time, to work full time, to work part time, to focus on time that's not school or work. Um. I took a year off after school and then um, and then got um, and then got into uni though I did work during that time but I think having that year off was very very beneficial to me um, I think to focus on time that's not work or school because even though work was there it wasn't like my focus Oh.
Uh, oh, and to, and to work part-time, I guess. And to go to school. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh. Mm. And that was the basics. For your career, you thought you'd... Wow, big. When a company to work out, work online, do contract work. Ooh. Maybe work online. That's kind of the direction I think I'm heading. Um, maybe do some... Um, maybe do some contract work. For yourself, you wanted to... Ooh. Work on self-improvement on your own. Take some time to relax, try to figure out what you truly want. I think try to work out what you truly want, oh, but work on self-improvement. I think this one. Oh, and work on, yeah, all of them. <laughs> and for that, you wanted to stay local, go to a different part of the state, go out of state, go abroad. Oh, um, I think stay local. I mean, that's what I did. And I guess that's kind of what I'm basing my stuff off of, but I don't know. I I also think that a big move uh, and that changes location really changes your mindset. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like just staying in the one place. Then the only change is you leaving school, and it kind of allows you, I think, to focus on on yourself and having that time now. And the change of location isn't also something that you're dealing with. I don't know. Yeah, lots of thoughts. It'd all be happening so soon. You'd already applied to jobs. You start to prepare for what was coming. I think I think you probably start to prepare, like thinking about it and stuff. You'd been open about your situation and everyone knew. You'd only spoken about it with family and those who were close to you, like Cove. Yeah, I think so. Now you wondered what Cove had in mind. You'd heard him consider some things for his future, but it was never really anything that would have counted as a real plan. Making it back home, you both stopped in the middle of the street. Cove sighed. Cove looked at the ground for a moment. His mouth trembled, trying to settle on the right words to say, Are you moving? S so, um... Are you s still s thinking about relaxing for a while and stuff in Sunset Bird? Yeah. You remembered. Cove closed his eyes and nodded while he composed his thoughts. He looked at you when he lifted his head. I decided on something. Well, kind of. He smiled slightly and rubbed his arm, and then his expression grew more serious. I'm not going to decide on school or a career. Not this summer. I'm going to stay here. At least in Sunset Bird, I'll probably move out of my dad's place. I'll keep working my job, keep doing my volunteer stuff and everything else. Maybe I'll know what I want for myself by fall or next year, or maybe I'll never have a plan. Life will continue on with whatever's happening. Happening. I'm not going to crush myself trying to have everything figured out by a timeline that someone else has set. I just can't do it. His brow furrowed and his tone was tense. It was clear how much his expectations were weighing on him. I guess it'll be me and you, right here for a while longer. Yay! Oh, that sounds like a nice plan. You don't need to rush into these things, I don't think. You can take your time, learn more about who you are, you know? I grew so much in that year off, so much. His eyes were glossy. You weren't going to be separated, and that meant a very great deal to him. Yeah, me too. Your plans sound very you. You nodded understandingly. You were glad the two of you would be in Sunset Bird together. Somehow I'm not surprised things turned out like this. <laughs> Elated, you smiled. Cove looked relieved that you were happy with his turn of events. I'll... I'll see you tomorrow, Patch. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to it. Night. He pulled you into an unexpected hug. It knocked the breath out of you, yet couldn't uh, have been more a more reassuring feeling. You returned his embrace and stayed that way for as long as you could. Night. He finally let go, giving you another smile. Then Cove started walking away, but you remained there, frozen in the middle of the street. 
You watched him and wondered, how many more times will he be able to say that he'll see tomorrow? You hoped for countless more times. Finally, you turned towards your house. You vowed to yourself that you would make the most out of every moment you had this summer. Oh, and here we are. Damn, it's getting kind of, it's getting real. It's, oh, man, man, this game is so sweet. What have we got? Hang? Oh, that looks like crepes right there. I love crepes. Or maybe like a weird pizza with blueberries on it. Errands, talks, oh, this will be a serious one that I imagine. Charity, nice, that'll probably be the orca thing. And drive. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, so Baxter was something. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see what happens with him. But, you know, you know, it's, it's all moving ahead. We're getting there. We're moving through it. Dang, dang. I love this game. Cool. I hope you're all enjoying it as much as me because I've been having a great time with this game. It's just so sweet. It's so sweet. And we're getting close to the end of it now. That looks like maybe only maybe three more episodes dang 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 okay thank you for hanging out with me everyone have a wonderful rest of your day i love you bye